I'm back. I'm back. Kind of. Let me explain. Long time no talk. It's Mr. Twister 55. I'm back. And, uh, yep, I'm back. And I'm charging one of these, so you know that's going to be good. I'm not making a vlog like I used to anymore, as you can tell. Uh, I'm making a new series, and it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be a vlog-style series about lawn care. Uh, I've been doing a bunch of work outside lately, now that it's warm, because it's April 25th. Um, it's a good day. It's April 25th, and it's finally getting warm here in Pennsylvania. The grass is growing, so that means there's a lot of work to be done. And I thought I'll just bring you along in like a vlog-style video, a vlog-style series, so you can track what I'm doing throughout the summer. Before we get started, we need a name for this series, so comment down below with your best lawn care landscaping vlog name, and I'll pick the best one, and I'll make it the title for the series. Uh, oh, there's some vegetable garden. In today's video, uh, we're going to be touching on three things. First, I've been doing some seeding out front. I'm going to update you on how that's going. Um, two, I want to make a lawn roller. I need, I need to roll out the front yard. It's getting really bumpy. And three, I want some kind of permanent roller or brush system on the back of the tractor. So when I cut the grass, it gives really nice lines. So those are the three things we're going to be talking about in today's vlog. And I'm also going to be giving you a rough overview of, of what's going on around here and uh, how I'm going to vlog about it. So stay tuned and let's uh, head down. Let's head out front first and I'll show you what's going on out there. And here's the front yard. This is the front yard of Orchard Hills Farm. Orchard Hills resides on about 20 acres of land in South Hanover Township in Hershey, Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. The grass consists of a nice Kentucky bluegrass. It's lovely and fine. It's very nice. Oh yeah. Very nice, thick, lush lawn. The whole reason I got the idea to, to do this vlog series is because I was out here working yesterday uh, filling in some patches that were not filled in by the landscaper last year. Uh, I was filling with some topsoil and some uh, nice brand new bluegrass seed. You can see where the patches are and I didn't even get, I maybe only got 10% of what I need done. Um, done. Uh, there's just much more than you'd ever imagine needs patched. Uh, it's going to be a, at least a, a week project if I continue at this rate. Uh, I want to do it now while it's wet, and hopefully it grows in nice before it gets hot this summer, hot and dry. This here is the largest area that I patched. This was about, I don't know, 500 pounds of topsoil I used from the backyard to do this area. You can see it much better from the air. Um, you know, from the ground, this grass looks really good, really healthy, very, very healthy. But when you get a little higher, you'll see the patches. And actually, there is some areas of, of dead grass that needs to be thatched out. Um, very small, subtle areas that need thatched out. From the ground, it's not really noticeable, but from the air, you can see it much better. Another thing that happened was when the landscaper was here last year, he seeded with a non-matching grass blade. This grass here is a much more broad, uh, this grass is much more broad and it's a lighter color green. Honestly, I think it's pretty bad what they did. It should be, a, it should be illegal to put down seed that doesn't match. I mean, look at the difference. So I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna work on putting some Kentucky grass back in here where it belongs. Um, along the road. I think see more patching needs done, more patchwork here. Over here is a lot that was newly acquired by the farm. Um, it was a very thick brush area, which the landscaper kind of cleaned out yesterday. You can tell where he cleaned it all out. He left, he, he used a big chopper, and I kid you not that I was picking up these, uh, I was picking up this debris from the site of where he chopped it all out, almost all the way to the house. This whole area here was covered with the debris. And if you can tell, these lines here are, look different because I was using a sweeper. 
I just took the sweeper up and down, um, one, two, three, four, five passes wide, probably about 10 times down each lane to pick up all of the debris that was left by the landscaper. So now that that's cleaned up, I can get back to doing the patchwork. Um, and also you can see some of this grass popping through. It is not crab grass. It's actually grass that was originally out this way before they seeded the front yard the first time. So I'm probably gonna go through and pick this all out and put down some and put down some bluegrass before it uh, overtakes the area. I'm not too concerned about this portion of the lawn because it's pretty far up and away from the house. I'm most concerned about down there. Uh, you can't really see this from the road, so that will be a project on the back burner. So seeding some areas is, is point number one of my project this year. I'm not even close to being done. But before I continue, I need to get a roller out here because it is really bumpy. A really bumpy lawn that you have to go really slow on with a, with a big ZTR. So I need to get a roller. Also, this tree was planted today. This nice weeping, it's not weeping, it's a weeping evergreen looking thing. It was just planted today. It should fill in nice and uh, give us a nice, give nice balance between the emptiness of the white with a nice green plush tree. So that was done today. That looks a lot better. Adds, adds a lot more to the landscape. And actually I'm just going to leave it hanging there at that lovely new tree slash bush they put in today. Um, I don't want to give it all away in one vlog, so stay tuned because in the next series I'll be explaining some of the equipment I use to get the job done. I'll update you on the progress of the front yard. Hopefully I'll have some new grass growing by then. And uh, stay tuned for more good stuff. So again, please comment down below with a good title for this. I need a new, I need a new name for this series. I, I'm thinking something along the lines of Mr. Twister along with tractors or um, grass. I don't know. So we, we need a name, put it down below, and stay tuned for much more landscaping goodness. So that's all for now. I'll see you, uh, see you very soon. By the way, this is Orchard Hills Farm. Um, this is the house, obviously. Front yard runs from about there to there to here. Vegetable garden is here. This is Cashew's pen. She has free reign out there. This is the outdoor riding. This is the barn. The stalls are right here along this long piece. This here is the indoor riding ring. This is the bank barn that houses all the tractors and the gator and all that. These are all pastures. Right there is a sand mound that has the weather station on it. More to come with that very soon. And this is that lot I was telling you about that was recently acquired and was recently uh, cleaned out of the brush. So Orchard Hills Farm.